So one of the new additions to your textbook is this idea of logistics and 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 supply chain um, systems. Of course, you're all familiar with the famous commercial that UPS has where they sing, I love logistics. Um, all right, so a supply chain consists of a sequence of firms that perform activities required to create and deliver a product or service to the ultimate consumer or industrial users. So you think about the supply chain that Walmart has behind them. That is uh, somebody in the middle of Ohio um, uh, uh, pickles cucumbers and turns them into pickles, and those pickles go to a wholesaler, and the wholesaler sell, uh, sells them to Walmart's wholesale system, and then then Walmart takes its distribution center uh, and delivers those to the store, and they get to the end consumer. How that how that cucumber becomes pickled and gets to you is part of the supply chain. Logistics consists of all those activities that focus on getting the right amount of the right products in the right place at the right time. So logistics are all, all part of the supply chain system. And, and so the supply chain are all of the organizations that are involved. The logistics is how those things actually move from one individual organization to another. Some examples of some supply chains include, think about someone who's making a, a cars, right? You have... Um, uh, a steel manufacturer who who gets products to somebody who makes the brakes and the seats and the transmissions for the automobile companies, uh, who then sends them to a company who does the chassis, who then sends them to Ford, who assembles the automobile and sends it to a uh, a dealer network, who eventually gets the product to the consumer. So think about how that um, you know how that Ford F-150 truck got from a sheet of metal to you, the consumer. Supply chain managers need to balance the six logistics cost factors against the four customer service factors, all right? So what does a customer service want? Well, they want what? They want convenience. They want the product, the right product in the right place at the right time as fast as possible. That's the time and convenience aspect. They want the product to be dependable, and, they, and, and so they want the product to be high quality and dependable, and they want to be able to have a communications with the people who have sold them the product. From a logistics standpoint, they need to be worried about the costs of material handling costs, inventory costs, stockout costs, order processing costs, returns and product handling costs, and transportation costs. And so they try to balance the six costs against the four customer service factors.